In this video, I will show you how to create this Imperial styled map animation in DaVinci Resolve. Now, Imperial is a good channel, an amazing channel. They have this amazing motion graphic videos. And I have already covered a video in which I showed how to do their style. But in this one, I'm going to show you how they do their map animations specifically. So with that being said, let's dive in. So for this one, let's go ahead and create a new timeline. Now I have already created the timeline. So I'm just going to show you the settings in the timeline settings. You can just set this to so over here at format, you can see I have this set at 30 frames per second, but this is in the same resolution as the default one, which is 1920 by 1080. So make sure you use that and hit OK. So now once you have this timeline set up, what you need to do is drag in a fusion composition. And of course, this is what I'm going to show you how to create in this video. So let's head over to the fusion composition. It's just the default five seconds. So you don't need to add it, but of course that's up to you. You want to extend it, that's up to you. But the thing is, in this video, I'm going to show you the process. So this is the process that will help you make map animations similar to how you see it in the videos on the channel called Imperium. Now, the first thing you need to do is drag in a background. Connect this with the media out and make sure you have your background selected and press control space, search for grid. Make sure to add this grid. So in the grid, change the row cells to 20 and column cells to 20 as well and change the major line spacing to zero so i just typed in two but this needs to be 20. so make sure the column cells are at 20 row cells are also at 20 and major line spacing is at zero now you need to change the line color so you can just go with slight you can say dark color or gray color if you want but i'm going to use this color code you can copy this so this is how it will look now the next thing we need to do is add in our map now you will find this from the link in the description i have linked all the assets that i'm using in this video the first one that we need is this map so this is a map of russia and if i make this enable in the first screen this is how it looks so we're just going to use this as an outline but the main thing that we need for this video is the texture so you can go ahead and download any texture that you want but i'm using this black stone texture you can find this of course in the link and this is how it looks so the reason i'm using this texture is that this texture gives you that same effect in the videos that you see in the burial because they have these maps that have something like mountains appearing on their maps so this is how you can get that effect using davinci resolve so you can of course use any texture that you want but make sure to use a high quality texture so for example this one i have is very high quality this is why i'm using this so the more higher the quality the better this effect will sell so right here we have this you can say texture and we're going to add the texture right here with the grid and this will create a merge so this is up to you you can create a merge or you can just connect it this will just create that merge automatically now what you need to do right here is make sure to add this transform node because we need to scale this down before we add the you can say map as a mask so we're going to use this map as a mask but we need to transform this so we need to make sure that this is right here at maybe let's just go lower we don't need to go too low because it will automatically lose the resolution we don't need that let's just go with 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 for now yeah, so let's try with 0 0.3. And the next thing we need to do is add in our outline. So once you connect this outline or you, the map to the merge, this will act as a mask. Now you can see the boundary. If I zoom in closer, you can see this is taking in the shape, but there are some places that this is not covering. The way that we can do that is by going over to the merge. And from here, we need to just increase the size of this. And this will fit in the you can say boundary of the map that we have so make sure the boundary is set and of course if you want a better look you can go over to the background and change this to white to make sure the whole map is covered so in my case this is already covered i'm just going to undo and this is how it looks now imperial uses this black background with the grid that's why i'm using it but of course you can use any color that you want now once this has been settled the next step is to add in an outline Let's go ahead and add in this map once again, but this time we're also going to add in this background. Make sure to change the background color 
of this to green all the way to green make sure this is at one and everything else is at zero now while you have your background selected click on this matte control and over here while you have this matte control selected press control space and search for delta gear now using this map outline this map that we have make sure to connect this right here with the matte control and you can just drag this matte control right here and this is how it will look now you can do the same thing right here with the delta gear as well you can now drag this right here and press this or click on this delta gear and use this icon this dropper key to make sure to drag it right here on the green side so that this will get removed now you need to go over make sure the delta gear is selected go over to matte and from here you can change the erode or let's say increase it and you will already see this outline appearing so go over to replace mode and change this from soft color to hard color and now this is more prominent and this is how you can change the color now so now you can go over to replace color and change this to any color that you want i'm going to go with white and this is how it looks now you need to connect this delta gear to the merge one right here and this will create a merge two basically you need to just add a new merge node and this is how it will look so we need to go back to the delta gear and change the erode so the setting that i'm going to go with is 0 0.0005 and this is how it look let's zoom in this is how it will look so this looks good but you can select your delta gear and press control space search for glow and now you can add this glow effect as well i'm going to keep this at the default settings but of course you can increase this that's up to you now the next step is to add in a highlight on the map so in their videos they also have this highlight on the map the way that you can do that is for example you want to show a region over here so for in this case in my example i have this moscow region so i'm going to locate this on the map the way that i'm going to do that is by dragging in this map once again connecting it with the merge and now i'm going to just locate where the moscow region is so this is where the moscow region is and i'm going to just add in another merge and make sure this is connected now i'm just going to position this let me reduce the size and position this and in this case you also need to change the angle because this is you need to just fit this shape right here so think of it as fitting in the shape just like small children do when they are trying to learn how to fit the shape into the right box something like that but anyways this is what you need to do so think of it like that all right so this is where this looks good for me and what i'm going to do now is add in a background connect this background right here and make sure to connect this right here now you can change in the color i'm just going to go with a red color and i'm also going to add a glow right here now of course you can change the settings to anything that you want i'm just going to go with 100 now over here i'm just going to remove this part so now you have this outline of moscow right here and now the next thing is to add in a text now this is very simple all you need to do is just drag in a text and you can simply just use this merge node that we already created and let's type in moscow okay so imperial uses a very unique font i don't know the exact font that they use but this is the font that i found which is quite similar to this and this is of course linked in the description this is called empires and this is how it looks let me just show you so this is how it looks it is quite similar to what the imperial font is but i'm not sure that this is the exact font or not and by the way whenever you're going to add a new font make sure to close davinci resolve and of course save your project close davinci resolve and then re install the font and then reopen it so that this will appear right here so for example you went ahead and downloaded the font but it's not showing in in davinci resolve well, you need to close DaVinci Resolve and then reopen it after installing that form. And then this will show. So make sure to do that if you have a problem. Now you need to change the size to 0 0.02. And let's just position this right here. And by the way, this is of course appearing below this, but we don't want that. We just need it to be on the side somewhere. Now, one other thing I, I want to show you is that if you go over to layout and change the type from point to path, you can now just draw in any shape. So for example, let's just draw in something like this. You can of course select this modify only and you can just change this a little bit. So I'm just going to go with something like this 
and it just looks nice and of course this is also something that you might find in the imperial videos they have this sort of a text on their maps especially when they're showing a location okay so now that we have this done let's also go ahead and add in a line so a lot of their videos also have this line that that's appearing showing the connection between two maps and of course you can use any other maps that you want as well i'm just using russia as an example right now but of course there might be some other country right here that you want to show a connection with it the process is the same you just need to do the same process that i showed you and add another map on this screen but right now i'm just going to show you one country so that we can keep this simple now for that line you can just drag in this text connect this with this merge and right here just start adding this line this dash and just you can keep the open sense font but change this to let's say regular and this will look better now what you need to do is do the same thing that we did for this text the moscow text you need to go over to the text and go over to layout and from here change the point to bar and now we can do the same thing just drag in something like this and you can now use this path to set this somewhere around here and actually let's go with something like this but of course that's up to you you can change the direction if you want it's totally up to you let's just go with something like this but make sure this is coming in at Moscow. And now you can go back to the text and just start removing the lines so that this covers in until it reaches Moscow. So somewhere around here, this looks perfect. And of course, this is a manual process. You need to set this according to how it looks good for you. Now, of course, you can change the color as well. Actually, let me also change the size a little bit. Okay, so let's go with 0 0.7, 0 0.078. So this looks better now. And now let's change the color as well. So I'm going to go with red. And you can, of course, use any color that you want. But you will notice that this red line is what appears in their videos a lot, in the Imperial videos. And now, while you have this selected, let's also add in a glow. So you can see this glow right here. And I'm just going to set this at default. Keep this at default. But of course, you can change this if you want. You can change it from here, from the glow as well. But I'm just going to keep this right here or actually let's just go with 0 0.85 yeah so it's a little more prominent the glow is a little more prominent now let's start animating so for this one let's just go ahead at 10 and over here i'm going to go ahead and start animating this region right here so for this we need to go right here at the position where we had this moscow map and this was i believe somewhere around here yeah so this is where this is you need to go over to the merge of that the map of moscow and let's go over at let's say 30 and in the merge make sure to create a keyframe add blend and then go over at 10 right here at 10 and then just change this to zero so if you play this this is how it will now we can we can do the same thing for this text as well just go over to text one and then right here add maybe 50 let's go over at 50 go over to shading and create a keyframe at opacity and then right here at let's say 30 let's change this to zero so if you play this this is how it looks of course you can increase this if you want actually i'm just going to go with 70 now so i'm going to remove this keyframe from 50 and then set this keyframe at one opacity at one at 70 frames so if you play this this is how it looks now for this line animation this is very simple and by the way i need to show you one more thing if you drag in this rectangle and connect this with the merge you can now add some masking to this as well so decrease the width a little bit right here actually let's increase this so make sure everything is visible all you need to do is just change the soft edge a little bit so that when this appears right here it, it actually looks like it's dissipating so this will give you a nice effect now let's start the animation click on text 2 and right here let's go over at we will start the animation from 70 to all the way to let's say 120 okay so go over to text and from here go over to write on and create a keyframe right here 
at 120 frames and now go over to 70 and now you can just move this right here all the way to zero so if you play this this is how it will look perfect so if you play the whole thing right now you will see that this is still in the 2d you can say way we need to make this more 3d because that's how imperial does it so how do we do that well what you need to do is right here where we have this media out just make sure you unselect this or unconnect this from the merge and now go ahead and add this image plane press control space and also add a render 3d and connect this with the media out now connect this merge 5 with the image plane and there you go now you can use the image plane and go over to the transform and use this z to scale this up and see where this fits perfect and make sure you are at zero frames and now let's start animating so let's go ahead and set the keyframes a little bit let's go over at y let's change the y and the x something like this and make sure to create keyframes on all these but you, you don't need to do that on z if you don't want this sort of a rotation we don't need that we just need x y in the rotation and all of these selected in the translation now let's go all the way to the end and from here we're going to move this so actually let's use this one this x right here and then this y right here and then let's also change the y from here and the x from here so maybe something like this something like this so make sure this is subtle don't overdo it because then this will look very odd so if you play this right now here you can see we have this text appearing and then we will also have the line but you can notice that you're getting a nice looking 3d animation and of course you can play around with the settings that you want but this is the way to do it now let's go back to the main timeline and see how this looks perfect so you can go ahead and add in other things that you want you can add in more maps you can extend this animation that's up to you but the purpose for this video was to show you the basic overview of how you can get that imperial map effect in davinci resolve this is the way to do it now just for a final thing i will just add in this scratch you can say sound effect where you have this line appearing so let's just see where the line comes in okay so here's the, here's where the line comes in so let's connect this right here perfect and this is where it stops so i'm going to actually cut this right here and make sure this starts also where this first line appears so now let's play this perfect so this is it this is it for this video this is how you can get these map animations like imperial i hope you found this video useful and i will see you in the next one